To be absolutely honest, there is a ton of inaccurate material concerning INFJ personality types online. Some of the material is not only inaccurate, but actually terrible. Unfortunately, a lot of individuals accept the information presented by widely read media outlets at face value. Many of the widespread misconceptions regarding the INFJ personality type are untrue, though. But how can you distinguish fact from fiction if you're an INFJ? Stereotypes do contain a little amount of truth but it's crucial to understand the fundamentals of personality type in order to separate myth from reality. Six biggest myths about the INFJ personality type. Here are some of the most widespread misconceptions regarding the INFJ personality type, their sources of origin, and what they actually represent for INFJs. First myth, INFJs are unique snowflakes. One of the most widespread myths about INFJs is that they are delicate, individualistic people who love being different. This myth is based on the idea that the INFJ personality type is the least common. The majority of INFJs are far more interested in comprehending the world than they are in comprehending their own feelings. The INFJ is motivated by significance, long-term effects, and motivating others. They don't give a damn about being viewed as distinctive and unusual. In reality, a majority of INFPs prefer to blend in with the crowd rather draw attention to themselves due to their eccentricities. Myth 2, INFJs have a high level of emotion. Another misconception about INFJs is that they have a high level of emotion. This misunderstanding stems from the idea that INFJs are emotional people. INFJs, on the other hand, are dominant intuitive personalities who predominantly view the world through the prism of their introverted intuition. They make decisions based on how their actions will affect other people by using their auxiliary extroverted feeling. They pay far less attention to their sentiments personally. In fact, a lot of INFJs find it challenging to distinguish between their own feelings and those of others. Myth 3, the INFJ personality type is the extroverted introvert. INFJs frequently describe themselves as sociable introverts since they genuinely value learning about other people. INFJs are often mistaken for being the most outgoing introverted personality type as a result of this. It's crucial to understand that your level of introversion or extroversion has nothing to do with any particular personality type. While some INFJs may identify as ambiverts, others may be firmly introverted. A person's interest in other people does not necessarily indicate whether or not they are an extrovert. Myth 4, INFJs are timid and quiet people. On the other hand, some sources assert that INFJs are timid and introverted because they are introverts. One of the biggest fallacies about introversion is the idea that all introverts are shy. This is due to the widespread belief that extroverted personality types are more liked, forceful, and successful. However, introversion is a preference for quiet, low-stimulation surroundings, as Susan Cain argues in Quiet, the power of introverts in a world that can't stop talking. Shyness is the dread of unfavorable judgment. Although some INFJs and introverts may be timid, this is not a characteristic of their personality. Myth 5, INFJs are deceivers. This misunderstanding frequently results from the perception of other personality types than INFJs and other types with dominant or auxiliary extroverted feeling are dishonest. It's simple to understand how individuals who don't value this function would perceive extroverted feeling as artificial. Extroverted feeling seeks to preserve peace. This is frequently accomplished by speaking in a style that resonates with the audience. INFJs care a lot about authenticity, even if others may see this as being unauthentic. They do not perceive the chameleon effect as being at odds with who they really are. It actually makes up a sizable portion of who they are. INFJs suffer with vulnerability, even when they are not fake. 
The INFJ's path to personal development includes learning how to recognize and express emotions in a healthy way. Myth number six, INFJs are psychic. One of the most common misconceptions regarding INFJs is that they have a remarkable capacity for future prediction. This is because introverted intuition, the INFJ's primary function, is to blame. Introverted intuition is adept at spotting trends and piecing together puzzles to reach conclusions. The INFJ might perceive this inner labor as appearing out of nowhere because it is unconscious. According to Carl Jung's psychological types, introverted intuition has the ability to foresee new possibilities in more or less distinct outline, as well as the event which later actually unfolds. The INFJ can easily access this function, but that doesn't imply they can foretell your future spouse or predict the numbers that will win the lottery. Reality versus myth. Even if you can identify to some of the myths on this list, it's vital to remember that stereotypes shouldn't be used to describe who you are as a person. Being an INFJ is so much more than what a well-known essay or smart meme will attempt to convey. It's crucial to go further into what it means to be an INFJ and investigate your type beyond superficial preconceptions.